Welcome to Tech Simplified, and my name is Sly Gittens. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a video and create a study guide for the Microsoft Security Fundamentals, also known as the Microsoft SC900 exam. And you know what? I did it. I created the study guide. I'm working on this video right now, and you're going to love it because it takes you step by step on how to pass the exam. And what's even better, coming soon, I'm in the process of recording the training. So you don't have to go anywhere else for your study guide, your training, your videos. Tech Simplified is all you need to pass those Microsoft certifications. So let's get right into it. We're going to love learning. So let's go. So the first thing you got to do is head over to sgtechsimp.com. And that's going to be your all acts passes to everything tech simplified from my social media to our um, Microsoft certification study guys to the university. We got our full fledged uh, Microsoft courses to the woman in tech series and so much more. So go over there and check that out right now. So the first thing, once you get to that homepage, click on the first button there that says access to study guys. Right, and the one that we're gonna be talking about right now is the AZ900. And as you can see, I have a lot more. So now that we're here, what is the Microsoft SC900 or the Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamental Exam? So the first thing you need to know, this is someone who if you don't know anything about securing Microsoft environments, take this training. Do you have to? No, it is not a prerequisite for to take the any of the other Microsoft certifi security certifications. But if you don't have any background, this is a great place to start because I'm like building the house. If you got a weak foundation, as you start adding on certain concepts, you might get lost and it's a really great place to take. So even if you don't decide to take the exam and sit for it, go ahead, get the training, read through it. Just don't take the exam. You have the financial knowledge save that money and take like the SC5, I mean SC300 or the, in my case, I like to take the MS500 because it's a jack of all trades cert, um, get you exposure to everything. Then you could pick what discipline within security you want to focus on, whether it's threat protection, data protection, uh, and so on and so forth, right? But it's a good certification I think people should start at if you don't have that security background or just experience in Microsoft security. So the first thing you're going to see is I like to talk about, like we just talked about, what is the exam and what should you expect? Next thing is, what are the prerequisites, right? Because sometimes we look at these certifications, we get excited to take it, realize you needed like two years of experience in the field. And the great thing for the fundamental certs, there's none. You can just go ahead and learn about it. Um, it does, the only thing you need to get the um, cough up is the time to do it, right? Um, next thing I like to focus on, does do my company at Tech Simplified or do I provide training? And the good answer is, since I've been asking before, they're saying like, Sly, the training we'd be taking other places is boring. We love your energy. We love your passion. And we love the outcome. When we take your training, we pass certification. So you know what? I built one. I already have one for the AZ900. I'm also, right after I finish the SC900, I'm going to create one for the um SC100 and also for the MS500 and I'm gonna, I got more coming out so bear with me go lock in save Tech Simplify University it's gonna keep growing if you are a, a woman or a minority or someone who just loves text and want to share some training reach out to me maybe you can add some content within Tech Simplify University because I really want to build it um, to make these trainings affordable, also impactful, so you can transform your career, right? Next thing you got to know is like, all right, Sly, what else can I get, right? It's practice exams. So first thing is Microsoft has some free practice exams. There's some um, official exams that's been blessed from Microsoft for Measure Up or MindHub, right? Um, you also got exam topics. That's another area that you can get some um, training. I also, with my training that I'm providing, we'll have some um, trainings in each module, so you can kind of stay stay the course there as well. So you should be all set for that. So who is this exam for? We kind of touched upon it a little bit before. The exam is for people who want to familiarize themselves with the security in the context of Microsoft, right? In the cloud. So this is a great one to know if you want to secure Azure environments or if you want to secure Microsoft 360 and 5 environments, this certification covers that's that. Uh, so you can learn that, right? Again, I go into a little bit more detail on what this solution is because I'm a firm believer before you dive into an exam, 
Really understand what is it? What are they asking for? What's the main components? And then do you want to apply that time to study for it? Because think of your your month, your time as currency, right? So let's make sure this is the right exam for you. That's why I put a lot of context in there. So now that we decided, like, you know what, Sly, I'm ready to go. Well, I want to study. I want to get in there right now. I want to learn right now. Um, what I did is I took the skills measure guide. Think of that as the outline or the syllabus, your course, um, the exam instructions, right? This is everything you need to know. These are the four, the five areas of uh, what the, uh, the exam is going to be broken into. So describe the concepts of security, compliance, and identity. Describe the capabilities of Microsoft Azure Active Directory, part of Microsoft Intra. Um, describe the capabilities of Microsoft Security Solutions. Describe the capabilities of Microsoft Compliance Solutions. Those area makes up the entire exam, right? So you got to know those. So I took it one step further, right? Because the one thing Microsoft did is like, hey, they gave you this, the outline, which I love it because it helps you study. Um, but then I was like, you know what? Let's align all of the training to Microsoft Learn sites or Microsoft documentation sites. So you could go in here and read because you might say, Sly, I thought you already had a training up there. So the way I like to study is, right, I might go through my training, take the exam, and then when I have specific areas where I need help, let's go check those links. Let's go read about it. Or if I want to go a little bit deeper, because when I look at these exams, this is the way for you to get started on your learning journey. Using those links are fantastic because it gives you the insight into the deeper layers where you can take your level to the next level. And the good thing about it, I checked it. I made sure all those um, links are active. I update it constantly. That's why I changed my format from a PDF into a, web, um, a website because it's easier to update on demand. So this is great. Everything you need to know, right? So again, man, make sure you like this video. I want you to share this uh, study guide with a friend or anyone. If you know someone who's not making over a hundred thousand, send this video to them. If you know someone not making over fifty thousand, send this video to them. Tech has definitely changed my life and um, and it's impacted my kids, my family. And again, it's it's a way for you to get started. I'm not saying this exam will open all of those doors, but it'd be the gateway to help you because cybersecurity is one of the areas that. We don't have enough people that are certified and ready to work. Um, I'm actually in the process of making a course to take you from uh, a rookie in security within Microsoft all the way to that senior level expert status, right? Um, I'm making a training now from the SE900, the MS500, the SE100, and then I'm also coupling that with resume help, cover letter help, um, job training um, in terms of how do you find the right job, also, interview prep, because I can get you the certification, right? But if you don't know how to model your resume, I'm going to have videos for all of this. You can do this all on demand. You don't have to wait for me to answer. Um, but I will have a way for you to contact me if you have questions. So let me know if you want to be a part of that beta program, right? I'm working on the pricing. Um, and again, I really my goal is when you're done with my training, you will be able to find a job, right? Um, I'm working to work with some... Um, I'm recruiters now, so after you finish your training, we could place you in a role. So again, Tech Simplified is the only place giving you not only technical skills, but those soft skills to get you in the door and keep you within the job. So like this video, share it, slide gettings is out, peace.